Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind. I know people are got to get to work. Everybody's schedule is not like mine. So I, I super, super apologize for uh, being behind. Uh, I had a download this morning regarding Shango. And um, he was uh, not happy. So I had to make some adjustments to my morning and because of that we are actually going to do a quick little ritual for shango so uh i'm gonna still try to get you out of here in time to shower and be at work if you have a uh 9 a.m work time but having morning time to be able to have practice is super super important and i hope i'm using a microphone so i hope that uh clubhouse you can hear me just fine and if not please come over to youtube all right but let's go ahead and get it started so let's start as we do every morning with a few facts about ori ori is completely complex in the yoruba system and so it's best to chunk it down. Good morning, Tasha Lynn. Good morning, Ta on the Holistic Diva. Good morning, Kimberly. Thank you so much for joining. I am so appreciative of you for taking this time to take care of yourself, okay? So here is, let's break down a few facts about Ori. Then we are going to uh, light a... Uh, talk oh, what wrong this then we're going to do talk about the ori altar we're going to light a candle for eshu which i've already blessed with palm oil palm oil is one of his favorite things then we are and i'm going to explain why i did everything that i did then i lit a candle we'll talk about shango and what he's going through and why we're lighting this candle for him I have some herbs here, so I'm going to talk to you about the herbs that I'm using that I'm going to dress the candle with, because that's super important. We need to calm Shango down. Shango is upset, okay? So we need to calm him down. So I'm going to talk about the four herbs that I have in here to balance him out, Ashe. Then I'm going to pull a card for collective consciousness. So as we are washing and praying to our Ori, we sort of know what we're doing, right? We need to make sure that we're not just opening our mind blindly when we go into meditation. We need an intention. That is where you can superpower. It's a missed step in meditation to be able to cling on to something and know exactly what you want to focus on. So we're going to pull a card from our higher selves for everybody that's joined and everybody that will join. Time and space has no uh, it's a construct, right? So regardless, your Ori already knows whether you're going to watch a month from now, a year from now, or whatever. Your Ori knows you're going to be here and you're going to need this message. So it doesn't matter when you come to the broadcast. Whoever comes to this one is going to need whatever Ori pulls from that card, Ashe. Then we're going to, as we do every Thursday at this time, wash our Ori. And then we are going to pray and i'm going to walk you through a brief meditation and we're going to get that all done in about 45 minutes to an hour what you need to set aside time every single day 45 minutes to an hour so i love that you're using thursday as a seed and implanting for your practice ashe 6 30 to 7 30 is fine 7 38 get you a shower honey 8 to 8 30 get dressed and be on that road right ashe Ori is really the Ifa concept of evolution within the earth. Ori is super complex and everything in this world has a threefold or even more everything on this planet. Be it the food you eat, be it these herbs, I want you to believe. And this is what we believe in this tradition. So if you want to come along, you got to bring this into your spirit that 
all things have the elements of ori the element of consciousness so first of all ori in itself is the concept of consciousness and i am actually reading this from a paper on academia i'm i study i like to read and expand my knowledge and this paper was written by a wolf fellow kung futumbi everybody knows how much i have a lot of respect for him even though he is a melanin deficient babalao he does his research and he connects with the right people and i have found the information that he shares to be trustworthy ashe and ifa has no place for racism the next part of the elements of ori is ara the ifa concept of the physical body the console which i call if you think about your television and computer and your radio you want to think about ara is the actual physical thing that has all of those fancy bits inside that gets it to actually work so your body is a console it's its own womb its own container of all the parts of yourself we have the ori inu which is really womb intelligence ori inu is settled at the base of the navel so many times when you're doing rogations or when you're working with certain orisha, you are really working with the ori inu, which when I'm praying, that's who we're really going to be dealing with. And when I send you in a meditation, that's what I'm going to be working with. And the ori inu, I want you to think about that as your subconscious. You see, here's the beauty. The source gave us so many levels of intelligence to be able to operate in this world so we can get through it regardless if we turn any of these systems off so you have your ego that is an intelligent system it's not the most efficient one and will get you into some mess but it is an intelligent system that will get you through this life then you have your womb intelligence that's your subconscious that's your dirty drunk drawer also you can uh be totally off a of womb intelligence however that's usually where the inner child lives and you'll be very reactive out of life and also if these areas are damaged you'll have problems connecting with others and you will have problems really connecting with yourself and knowing that you are capable so you can live life in fear all the time and doubt the human beings live like that every day it's not an efficient use of intelligence but it is an intelligence you have your heart center your heart center is your a co-master intelligence to your destiny journey unfortunately many of us dead in our hearts and we even tell ourselves that we aren't our hearts i'm seeing that so much in collective consciousness you are not your heart and you are not your mind that is foolish and folly to believe that okay you can believe that and your womb and your ego will then be your intelligence system of which will guide you through life it'll get you there but it's not the best intelligence system, Mashe. Now you also have your consciousness. This is another intelligence system. And if you work your intelligence in isolation, you will look for evidence before you do everything and anything. And that will lead you into stagnation. You cannot lead just by logic. The best thing to do is to integrate all four of these and create a super computer. When you attach a line ego with your womb intelligence, with your heart intelligence, with your conscious intelligence, using sacred technology, much like we're going to do today, this is when you become a master at your life and you become unstoppable in your destiny. Ara, the physical body, Ori Inu, the inner self, your womb intelligence. Then you have Egbe, the concept of emotional guidance. We talked about that heart intelligence. I got a little ahead of myself, but that is Egbe. That is your attraction center. That's how you draw relationships to you because everybody that you meet, I'm a part of your egg bay. Your heart led you here. So at some point, all of our egg made a contract that I would be a part. I would say something in this moment that might help you be able to open up these centers. We made a contract together, Ashe. 
I am your egg bag. That's why you must follow your heart. And we have to learn how to feel. We have to stop being avoiders of discomfort. And we have to embrace all that life has to offer us, Asha. Ipako. This is the E5 concept of balance between the head and the heart. We call this mind heart coherence. We have so many non-melanated or melanated deficient people who have become masters at this science. Why melanated people, which it is a part of our DNA cellular, like it, it, we are the chosen people, like we were given this where other people have to practice it. Other people have to master it. We simply have to accept it. And then the switch turns on, Asha. We are master fillers. If you are indigenous, if you are melanated, no matter your melanation level, Ashe, or if you practice opening up your pineal gland, Ashe. And the less melanin you have in your body, the more practice you need, Ashe. This is science. Okay. Iponri. This is the Ifa concept of the higher self. We'll work with Ipan Reed. We did a couple of weeks ago where I ushered you into your higher self. So go back and watch one of the other Thursdays of Ori. Iwaju Ori. This is Iwa Oju. Iwa is character. Oju is that third eye that is where Eshu Odar lives. And Oju is actually said to be the child of Obatala which is the father Orisha of all the Orisha Ashe. I love that. Then we also Iwaju Ori is uh, the clairvoyance. So once you clear that pineal gland, once you align all of your intelligence systems, honey, you open up to master intelligence. And that is what really Ifa and your higher self wants for you. Atari, the Ifa concept of transcendent awareness, okay? That's what we are all after. We are all trying to transcend in this life. Then we have Apara Inu, the Ifa concept of conscious. That's just being in awareness of what is going on, which most of us are not being open to the signs, Ashe. Then we have Ori Apiri. This is the Ifa concept of the different patterns of consciousness. Igoke, the Ifa concept of spiritual growth. Ayan Mo Ipin, the Ifa concept of destiny. Everybody needs to know we have we all have a predetermined destiny, at least. That is what we believe in Ifa. You don't have to believe that. It is a worthy belief. It is a belief that will serve you and help you if you come into understanding that you were not here to be a post office worker. You weren't here to be a teacher, Ashe. Maybe, maybe so. You weren't here to be an architect. Maybe, maybe so. You have to know. But ultimately, if you aren't doing it for yourself, and community, if you're doing it for a corporation, you didn't come to work for that corporation, Ashe. You came to express you and create wealth for you and your community. We don't need big corporations that basically hoard ores. That's what corporate corporations do. They take our intelligence and they box it up and say, we want to use all your powerful consciousness to make me money. When really there are so many, the earth is vast and the earth is abundant. You can take your gifts. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. You can take your gifts, Ashe, and use your ori to make you money and not combine our intelligence to make one big mass corporation money and hoard all of our innate gifts up to one corporation. The world needs your gifts, Ashe. The world needs to know who you are, what you are, and what you have to offer. You give it to a community. Break it down. You only need 100 to 200 people to listen to what you have to say for you to be able to live. And when you are on your path making you money for your bloodline, for your family, for your ori, for your wounds, for your wealth and abundance, Ifa will hoard people to you. 
You don't have to feed one big hungry monster, Ashe. I'm not sure who that is for, but I hope that you receive it in love and grace. As I receive that in love and grace for myself. We also have Alun Ayun. This is the Ifa concept of choice. My screen is super small as I'm reading this out loud. So I hope that uh, my glasses are doing their due right now. Akun Legbe, the Ifa concept of free will. Free will, I'm not going to talk about that today. That's a whole nother thing. Ayanma, Ayanmo, the Ifa concept of predetermination. Yes, we have that. Atunwa. The Ifa concept of the rebirth. Apiri, the Ifa concept of perfection. Ifa wants us to strive for perfection. I know ego tells you, no, you can't be perfect, so do whatever. Ifa expects us to work for a perfection. I'm sorry, this is an Otu. I know you don't like to hear that. That challenges you, but we need to strive for perfection meaning not putting our words on other people, not having judgment or criticism towards ourselves and others, always operating in unconditional love, allowing people to do what they do and to release the colonization of a lot of us act like little small colonizers. And we need to stop that. Ashe. That's just programming. Okay. Our colonizers colonized us to be colonizers as African people, indigenous, ancient people. We understood the concept of tribes. That tribe does that. We do us. Let them do them. You want to come do it like we do? Come on. You're going to do it like they do. I'll show you some people over there for you. We ain't going to judge you. That's what your Ori called you to do. Colonized mind says we all have to do the same thing at the same time. You got to stop that. Okay. Oyi goyigi. Ifa concept of creation. Ile orun, the Ifa concept of the descent of Ashe. Ile orun is the connection between Mother Earth and orun, which some people say is heaven, but it's really just the ethereal place of which all of our energy bodies reside, Ashe. Ile Aye, that is the earth, the bowl, the home of earth. And this is the Ifa concept of the evolution because earth is with us and earth can't evolve unless we do. And earth is forcing us because we've been holding mother back. And so this is what Thursdays with Ori is all about. Now, one great way that you can do is set up an altar to your Ori. Here is an Ori doll that I've created. I want you to know this is very uh, <clears throat> powerful, uh, sacred technology. Everybody shouldn't do this. Do not be setting up an Ori doll until you, or your Ori tells you to do it. This is equivalent to a soul doll, which means that you need to put some very strong incantations because um, if somebody, a guest came and got a hold of this, they can begin to speak things over your Ori. So there's a powerful incantation over this doll where even if I'm at the grocery store, if I'm too far away from my doll, the doll becomes just nothing. It's important for you to understand you ain't mess. This is real magic. OK, this is not fake, 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 fake stuff. All right. So but uh, the great thing about it or re-alter is you want to put everything about you on there and you want to build it. So you put it in a space that where you can build upon it and build it up because it's going to be like a living a uh, visual of your journey and you can see you can see how you expand and the things that you used to like start with pictures of you as a child and then work your way up you want to make it about connecting with you and your decisions and your bloodline and how you do things if there's a car that really resonates with you you want to put that on there that's what the ori altar is it's about you getting out what's in your head so you can visually look at it and use it as a way to connect with self so basically other than that you just want to have the basic things that you have on any altar which is water you always need to have water in a uh, white uh, can, uh, glass container and plastics tins anything like that um, ceramics are best ceramics and glass crystals those are oh if you can get you a nice crystal bowl like this one this is a, a Shrovsky <laughs> uh, uh, crystal here 
And so it's filled with water. And this really helps me because I deal so much with all of Egun. And so it helps me to really only focus on the clear. Sometimes I'll infuse herbs in the water and do fun little things like that. I'll show you. But you always need water. You always need some element of air. Incense, feathers, bells are fun. Bells are air. Air tool, chimes. Ooh. Air loves chimes. Have some chimes on your altar. That's, that's life right now. Um, this is a love incense, which we are going to light to calm down Shango. Then you need something from earth. And if you, so you have something from each element. And then it's all about you. Don't freak out about altars. It's all about you. You intuit what you want on there to make it yours. But I implore you, maybe not run to a soul doll for advanced practitioners. If you are called to that and you feel like you really, you've already, uh, you, you don't have a, a total transcendence, but you've at least aligned your ego, your womb intelligence, your heart intelligence, and your mind intelligence. If you feel like you balance those things, which means I don't pop off so much. I know how to control my emotions. I don't uh, degradate myself because if you still talk shit to yourself, don't do that. Okay. You're not, don't do that. Okay. So if you're ready and then you can join one of my academies and we can talk about how to build this doll. I do that at Kingmakers Academy. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start our lighting. And we're going to start with our light to Eshu. And we're also, when we start prayer, we are going to pray to Eshu as well. Okay? Uh, the other Orisha cannot do anything for you. Even if you are a daughter or a son of one of the Orisha and they rule your head, Eshu is the door. He is Mercury. He is the communicator. And unless you open the door to him and appease him, then I'm sorry, your messages are not going to be heard. So doesn't matter what Arisha and what are you, what you're doing, always do something for Eshu. And you know, if you're just trying to work with another Arisha to connect, you don't have to go crazy on, he just wants a little something, a little rum, a little corn, corn, a little palm oil. You know what I'm saying? A little candle alone will do. You know, he's not that when you're not working for him. When you work for him, that's when he gets aggressive. But when you just want to transcend and open, he is there for you. He's not evil. He's there for you to assist, but you must talk to him first, okay? So that's why we are lighting the candle to Eshu. The next thing we are going to do is to light Shango. Shango is not happy. And I'll talk about that in Arisha Life Academy because we really need to start working with Shango. Um, he's not happy. All right. Uh, people aren't listening. They aren't following their abundance. And I am married to Shango and he is having some problems with his body being cooperative. So he ain't happy in general. All right. And now he's calmed down. He was burning my finger a little bit. So I love that. And to calm Shango's energy down. All right. I have a little alchemization of herbs that I want to walk you through. And I have uh, uh, two oils that I'm also going to dress this candle with. So the first thing I have in here is rosemary. And you need to know that herbs have a, all of those things I just spoke about, the herbs have it too. So you always need to be super specific because a lot of these herbs were alchemized for various amount of things. So what I find that's a misstep is people speaking to the herbs and connecting their consciousness and, and communicating and saying, what are you trying to draw out? Because I have rosemary, sapphire, roses, and lavender in here, and they each have various amounts of vibrations and frequencies. So if I'm not intentional about what I'm trying to draw out from the herb, you know, they'll get it, but it's just more powerful when you use your ashe to speak and communicate what you are trying to draw out. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I can't wait for you to make this. So here's what I have in here, rosemary. And for rosemary, I'm drawing out that sun energy. That is Shango. Shango is all about that 
you know, solar plexus energy that shine. People put Shango in the root chakra. Root chakra is more Ogun energy, right? He's the builder. He's the one that Olodumare gave the tools to to build. He's earth. He's technology. Shango is that, you know, he wants to be seen and he wants to be heard and he wants to have relationships and have babies and be out. You know, that's that Shango energy. All right. So we want to just kind of feed that sun fire with that. And I'm also using it for purification because we're washing or re we're trying to align all of our intelligence systems. So clearing out any issues is super great. Rest. We do not rest enough. And Shango is, he is turned up. So I want this to give him some rest. Love. Let him know that regardless if we are physically together or not, that he is never separated from me. And patience and unconditional love is better than aggression, Ashe. Can't force anybody into it, Shango. All right. So we're going to put a little love on it. Okay. I also have sapphire, safflower. Now, um, safflower is I'm drawing in, first of all, red. And anything red is really going to boost Shango up. It's going to get them excited. And that's what we want to do. We want to make them happy and excited about life. Also, sapphire is ruled by Mercury. So we want to bring in his homeboy issue, you know, communication, open up the lines to communication and also air. Right, air is clarity. That's what batala air cools, and that's what we need to do. And fire and air also ignites passion, but this is like cool passion, un rooted in unconditional love. Ashe, also sapphire, sap safflower is also a love herb. Also, I'm drawing in. It's a very healing herb. It can help with so many ailments within the body. And sapphire ushers in happiness. And really, ultimately, our goal on this earth is for happiness, joy, and peace. Ashe. That should be our goal. Happiness, joy, and peace. And guess what? Happiness, joy, and peace can be found in any other people. Happiness, joy, and peace can only be found in self, Ashe. We have roses to bring in that feminine energy. Shango energy is very androgynous, right? He is really that combined uh, masculine and feminine energy. And he does not mind going in and out, honey. He don't mind wearing a dress. Shango will wear a dress and, and still have big dick energy and give zero Fs about what any of y'all think about it. I'm sorry with you and your prejudice. He doesn't care. He will have his nail polish on and his feathers and still jack you and tie you up and take all your women. Okay. So we're going to leave that, that, that old thinking behind. All right. So we're bringing in that feminine energy. Also, bringing in me, bringing in that Venus energy, that Oshun energy. Mm, soften them up a little bit. You know, we like that. Also, we're bringing in water to open up our psychic power, to open up that Iwa Oju center so we can connect with our higher consciousness, Ashe. And also for divination, because that's what we're going to be doing, checking in with the cards, looking at everything. And roses are for protection. We have air for lavender, which is calmness and happiness and peace. And then I also have some um, spirit oil right to just connect all of consciousness and i love this little tiny little um mixing cauldron that i got i love it it's so cute <laughs> and we're just gonna mush this out and it's gonna boost this fire up for real when we drop these herbs in and we're gonna put a little bit in on top of our ori we're gonna pack our head Put a little bit with our Ori. Rub that right in the center of your skull. Ooh, I feel the energy of the herbs. Draw it down in your hair. I'm going to give a little to Eshu. I'm going to give him some. Ashe, Ashe. And then the rest goes to Big Papa. Ooh, I'm telling y'all, I'm tingling. 
Oh, this is going to be a good day. I'm, I'm sending you this good energy. Oh, you're going to have such a blessed day today. You're going to have such a wonderful day. Yes. Ah, Shay. Ah, Shay. You see him jumping a little bit, but it's already calm. I thought it was going to spark him up, but he's already calming down. Ah, Shay. Yeah, look at jumping up and down. He receives it. You see when your candle is jumping up and down like that? That's reception. See as she's nice and calm, steady here. Yeah, he likes it. Let's gyrate him a little bit more. Let's do that. That's I like it. Let's do a little jumpy jumpy. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. I'm also going to hit my Iwaju centers, base of the neck, inside of the elbows with the mixture. palm of the hands these are also uh where we'll hit when you, if you come to the Ajay and Egun retreat and feet okay i'm gonna put all of our intelligence together if i could reach my well you can't see what's going on put a little of my wound intelligence here too ah shay and don't forget the heart where he said i'm sorry let's go ahead and do that ah yes we should feel good when i go into meditation i'm gonna i'm gonna um implant some juicy energy into you if you're open to receive my energy i'm gonna i'm just all you have to do is just be open to receive it doesn't matter where you are i can push it to you and i'm gonna give you some of this love and light energy ashe all right let's go ahead and pull a card and then we'll get ready to pray and meditate and we're doing pretty good we still have 23 good minutes we're doing good all right <sighs> tap in tune in what do you want spirit us to focus on one of these cards for sure spirit says i don't want you to have a lot of choices because you're buzzing right now this one is calling me what is this card? Okay. Let me tell you something. I love this. I have never gotten this card, but uh, this is so great. And I am really feeling this because this, oh, Shango just poppity pop pop. Yes, honey. I love it. He wants me to really stress this. He wants to, y'all, like, show me the card. Show me the card. Why is she so excited? The card says yes. And it says attitude. That is the card. It says attitude. And I love how it says yes on here. I love it. Okay, let's see. Y'all know I don't have a light on. I got, I'm going to have to do some really some quantum physics stuff with my eyeballs. All right. All right. A manner of acting. A manner of feeling. And a manner of thinking, Ashe. Those three intelligent parts of self. You know, Ori is so smart. I can't even, I love it. Acting, which is our behaviors, which comes out of our womb intelligence, our subconscious. Feelings, which comes out of our heart. And thinking, which comes out of our consciousness, which is what we're talking about today. Spirit is juicy, Ashe. And that shows one's disposition their opinion and etc that's why it's dangerous to say you aren't your heart and you aren't your emotions because if you disassociate yourself as those things not being a part of you you won't utilize them for the intelligence that you are and then your ego will run you and your subconscious will run you and i just told you what will happen when you do that you are your mind. Don't listen to anybody that tells you that. You are absolutely, your ori is your soul. If you are not your ori, what are you, Ashe? The ori needs the whole console of the body in order to be able to enact and express everything that it was called to enact and express, Ashe. Say yes. That's what spirit is saying. That's not even what, it just says yes here, but Ori is saying, we need you to say yes. Shango is saying, we need you to say yes. Say yes for a change. Say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Would you love me? Yes. Will you leave this job? Yes. Will you come here and learn at this job? Yes. 
Yes. Say yes. Attitude is everything. We are in every moment of our life at choice about what we are being. Let me reread that. We are in every moment of our life at choice. I love the way the wording are. We are always at the door of Eshu. We are all, we are on our decisions. We can't blame the planet. We can't blame the subconscious. We always want to point our finger at even spiritual people. Now we want to blame Eshu evil. Now we want to blame, blame everything. No, we got to tap into our consciousness. We got to tap into our body intelligence. So we can integrate all parts of ourselves. Don't deny any part of who you are, Ashe. It takes courage to adopt the notion that there is nothing that we cannot do if we want to. Ah, it takes courage just to adopt that notion. Let me tell you something. Being an entrepreneur at a time where you have no masculine support, that takes courage. It takes courage to know that you can do whatever your ori and your heart tells you that so many people are t trying to tell me to let go of the of my lover. Maybe it's time to let go, Nasa. Maybe because you know uh it's not happening, that's the universe telling you, oh no, 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 baby. No, 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 no. I tell my heart, yes, I listen to my heart, I listen to my divination. And if my heart and my divination tell me that's your man, my job is to never give up on that notion, no matter what the physical shows me, no matter what you tell me. Sometimes you got to get to a point in your journey where you know it's time to stop talking to other people. You got to know when it's time in your journey where you say yes to yourself by stop talking to other people. You have to know what your heart tells you. When, if you read the Torah, Noah wasn't telling, Noah, there's nothing in the Torah at all that gives any indication that when God told Noah to build that boat and do what he had to do, that he was running off telling people. There's no indication of that. That is in King James Version, not in the original text, in the scrolls of the Torah. Noah was not talking to nobody. God told him in his consciousness and then he went on and did what he had to do and he had to wait over a hundred and some years for that damn affliction. You, you don't even have enough faith to last a couple months. You don't have enough faith to last a couple years. Y'all trying to figure out if that story of Noah is true or not. It's not about if the story of, of Noah is true or not. Who knows if the, and who knows and who cares? The story is about what you need to do when God told you something. When your divination told you something, okay? Sometimes holding on to a dream and holding on to something seems idiotic to you and other people, but faith is not logical. It's not meant to be. Your fate, fate, the etymology of that word is fate, and your fate is not meant to be logical. Your fate is what the hell it is. And you got to follow it. You got to say, yes, Sasha. You got to have an attitude of courage. Say right now today, as we're washing our ori, yes, we will say yes to life. Yes to love. Yes to abundance. Yes to entrepreneurship. Yes, yes, yes. Bring it to me. Give it to me. I'm tired of not having it no more. You got to have an attitude. You got to get your big dick energy and your big coochie energy together. Even the, even the King James version says that you are supposed to go boldly before the throne of God, knowing that what you want and what you have is yours to receive. I say, say yes, say yes, say yes today. I say, Oh, I'm stirred up. It takes courage to say yes. It takes courage to believe that there is nothing that we cannot do if we want to. But it also endows us with the power to be greater 
than we thought we could ever be, Ashe. Where do I give in to doubt? That's what Ari wants us to focus on this morning. Where are you giving in to doubt? Where are you giving up on what your heart told you just because of a time limit? How dare you? How dare you give up on your heart because of a time limit? Because of time? Oh, time is a construct. Time is made up. Time and space. Last night, if you watch Wednesdays with Odu, Odu tells us that a shoe killed a bird today with a stone. A killed a bird yesterday with a stone he found today. He killed a bird yesterday with a stone he found today. There's no time. Time is not linear. Time is a wheel. Ashe, you need to be patient and detached from outcome. Don't let nobody tell you to give up on your dreams. I say, say yes. So we are going to release doubt today when we wash our wreaths. When I find myself doubting, I remember to step back and stay unattached to the outcome. Why are you worried about it? You got stuff to do. I'm like, I'm like, I'm worried about this man coming to me. I know he's going to come to me. I got stuff to do, honey. I ain't got time to be worried about that. I know it's going to happen. I release doubt. The, the attachment to if it's going to happen or I need it to happen to prove something to myself or to somebody else. I don't, I got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. You don't need to be worried about it. Say yes. Become unattached to the time. Do the work. The important thing for me is to be clear on what I want and trust the process. That is what I said yesterday in my post. I need to be clear on what I wanted. I need a stability and consistency. You need to ask yourself why you want what you want. When you find out why you want what you want, oh, life gets juicy then. You become detached and your are now can Take away a plan for you to get one specific person and put you on a plan to take care of the one specific person that is you, Ashe. We're going to do that today. We're going to say yes to our destiny and we're going to trust the process. We're going to detach from time. We're going to detach from outcome. We are going to have the courage to believe that we can be great. That is what the Ori wants us to focus on today. So let's go ahead and do it, damn it. I'm so excited. I just throw my, my tablet down, Ashe. Y'all don't know how much that was for me. Y'all don't know how much the last, I'm, ooh, Lord, I was weary, honey. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm about to just give up on all of this shit. I, I was like, I think I'm just going to disappear. I think I'm just going to get in the car and I'm going to just go in the forest and just disappear for a few years and you know, that's I'm going to live off the land. And I still might do that. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I might that still might be in my future. But right now. It's time to have courage to believe. So we are going to wash our ori, And then we are going to pray to Egun. We are going to pray to Ori. We are going to pray to Eshu. We're going to pray to uh, 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 Shango. We're going to do a meditation. I'm going to get y'all on y'all way, Ashe. Let's do it. Ashe. All right. So I have these packed herbs. You can do this later if you want to. Redo it for tomorrow. You can wash your ori. I wash my ori every day with either a white sage or water every single day. And I spiritual bathe every single day. All right. That's in addition to shower. All right. Let's first use our ashe to speak over the water. And I know you guys might not be able to see because the closer I get, the more it may. Oh, yeah. Can you see those bubbles? Those bubbles are indication that the ancestors are here. And so they are patiently waiting in the water. I wish you could see how many were here. They're patiently waiting in the water for us to speak. So let's speak the things in our hearts that we've been doubting. The water wants us to ask, okay? Wants us to ask. So we're gonna speak over the water 
and then we're going to go north to south and then west to east and then as always we'll start at the awaju and go all the way to the base of the neck all the way to the base this is all an encompass this whole neck and head all of this has to be protected all right Ashe. i'm going to speak over the water what i want in silence because it's my business you do the same Make sure you are specific about the doubt that you are trying to release. I'm, I'm releasing the doubt of not being able to make money. I'm releasing the doubt of not being able to have my own business. I'm releasing the doubt of not being able to uh, draw the resources to myself that I need. I release a uh, doubt that love will come to me. I release, release it into the water, release it. I release it. And now receive, I receive the love. I receive the abundance, Ashe. I receive the enlightenment. And I receive the integration. I integrate all parts of myself. Let's go from the north to the south. I integrate all parts of myself. Let's go from the west to the east. Ashe. Now we're going to wash. I usually wash as I pray, but we're just going to wash, okay? Start here. We're going to do this three times. One right here at the Iwaju. And even if your hands are dry, it's no worries. We'll take it all the way back. It's the spirit that counts, all right? We'll do that again. Ashe. At the Iwaju. All the way back. And if you pause this to get your herbs together, you know, let them sweep along your finger. You know, make sure you stop right at the point where the herbs are. Ibashe, Ibashe, Ori, Ibashe, Egun. Ibashe, Ori, Ibashe, Egun. We're going to say that. Ibashe, Ori, Ibashe, Egun. Yes, thank you. Now, when you are saying the, this prayer alone and you are calling Egun, be specific about your Egun, especially if you are still struggling with gossip, if you are still struggling with prejudice and racism, if you are still struggling with any lower vibration where you are putting your ashe on other people through criticism, judgment, things like that. When you open up to all of Egun, you open up to all of Egun, including the people that you are drawing to. It's a natural thing. It's a low, but it's something, don't beat up on yourself about it. You can grow out of it. It takes time to practice not being critical. That's all prejudice, racism, and judgment is. It's you being critical of yourself. And so be aware. Also pay attention to what you're being critical of. Like I used to be real critical over appearances and things like that because I, those were things that I was afraid of or some uh, parental deep subconscious things. So pay attention to your criticism. But until you do, draw only your egum to you. That's love and light for your best interest, okay? Because even part of your egum might come after you if you have issues with other parts of the family. Egun is collective consciousness of all ancestors, all right? So be careful about that. So when you're doing this by yourself, call only your egun in love and light for your best interest. That is how you can really uh, fail safe against this powerful egun. This is powerful energy, okay? So you want to you wanna be safe. We are going to pour libations. I am not going to use my water here. I'm going to use the water that I uh, work with egun. And when we pour libations, if you're doing it in your home, just a little splash will do. It's all good, all right? And, and I'll say it in Yoruba, we'll splash when uh, I say it in English, okay? 
Iba she ashe oyeku. Let's start at the north, true Orum. I respect the sacred scripture that guides our communication with the ancestors. E le u rame u. Let's go to the west. Uh, let's go south. South. I am greeting you, my friends. Ashe. Aye dudubaro bablao la peri. Let's go west. The bird, the black bird, touch the die in the name of all diviners. And I splashed from my ori water. It's all good. Maybe that's what they wanted me to do. Aye dudu baro bablao mani o. The black bird, touch the die in the name of all diviners. In his name. Yes. Igba keren dialogun adana igbo ashe. Sixteen times we make a fire in the back of Ashe. That's O S E, and that is Oshu. That's her home. That's where she's birthed out of. And that is balance. O digba keren dialogun adana igbo ashe na u rami. Oh. The sixteen fires do not harm me. O jo jiri jiri si o woko otun. The roaring fires burn to the right. Oh ba riri si tosi o. The roaring fires burn to the left, Ashe. Ora, merenda logun, niwon, ima dana ifasi. Sixteen places we make fires of wisdom. Imi omana kan eyiti ba ba re elejogun o Ashe. When I did not know the road to follow, I should have followed my destiny, Ashe. Now we will praise the inner spirit in the morning, Oriki um, Ori. However, I want us to focus our energy on Ori Inu, which is our womb wisdom. Whether you're a man or you're a woman, that's your root and sacral chakra energy system, wisdom, intelligence system. <laughs> that's a mouthful. So I want you to put your left hand over your womb in this case, drawing your attention there as you are saying these prayers and in Arisha Life Academy, these are uploaded in there. So you should be becoming familiar with this and reading them on your own. Here we go. Emi mafi. Imami jiloni o. O. Mofi ori bale e olorun. Now I am waking up. I give respect to the realm of the ancestors. Ari bobo ma awabami ori mi di mi da aye gokumo ari bobo ni ti imi imole ni ti amakisi ashe. Let all good things come to me. Inner spirit, give me life and allow me to say yes. I shall never die. Let all good things come to me. The spirits of light belong to Amakisi. May it be so. Let's go ahead and pray to Eshu. And I am praying to Eshu Wara. W A. R A, and he is the messenger of personal relationships, which is what Shango and Abeji Energy 222 portal is all about. So I'm using Eshu and this opportunity to prepare us for the 222 energy. E 
Eshu wara na wa o. Eshu wara o. Eshu wara na wa komi o. Eshu wara o. Oh. Divine messenger of personal relationships brings good fortune. Divine messenger of personal relationships. Divine messenger of personal relationships brings good fortune to me. Divine messenger of personal relationships. Ba mi wa iao o eshwara o maji ori mi o ba je o eshwara o. Bring me a companion, divine messenger of personal relationships. Do not spoil my good fortune, divine messenger of personal relationships. Maje ile mi o daru eshuara o ashe. Do not bring disruption into my home, divine messenger of personal relationships. May it be so. And now I'm going to light this incense for Shango. When that flame goes up, Make sure you send up a blessing with it. Never let that smoke go to waste, honey. That's that's energy. Yes, that's a smoke signal. So that first blowout, make sure you add your ashe to that first blowout. All right. We are going to, as you know, part of the 222 energy was Ibeji energy. Bringing in the ability to harmonize relationship polarity both intra-relationship polarity and outer relationship polarity. And so we are going to be singing or, or praying to the God of lightning, to the spirit of lightning, Ashe. That's you, baby. <laughs> Oko ibeji ele timo. Oju iri iri ola orun garara. Guardian of twins. Master of knowledge. Brilliant eye. That's that pine. Oju. Remember we talked about that. Brilliant eye. He splits the sky. Oh, sa, oh, giri, iki, nik bejbe, egun toto, bitan li, awayi, odofun. He splits the lira's wall superbly. Masker from the other world. We roll out the mortar and use it as a throne. Omili eba ina li aren orun olo wo mi edun kan soso li ofi pa anie metha water by the side of the river in the middle of the sky. Spirit who kills six with a thunderstorm. Ori Ashi Leogunlo Afi Eniati Sopono Eleran Ekunto Obopa. He mounts the head of Oshun and goes strong person, 
spotted leopard like the spirit of infectious disease a coon baba timi orun fufun bi ajay ajay is the mother ajay is yami Ajay is richness and abundance. Ajay is earth. Leopard, father of the chief of Edi. White sky, sign of riches. Oni laba jini jini ala ali ashe atata bi okun ri adube ekun oke. Owner of the thunder bag. Owner of the bed, filled with power, seasoned warrior. Ashe, you gotta say it like you mean it, honey. Agbagba, li oju, agada obe inawo ile, e ki. Storm on the edge of the night. He carries fire on his head into the house. Sheri Ajase Ashe Orobando. Victorious, sheer, superlative ocean heart. Kifi Oju Bo Orule Ki Oduro Ina Wonu Ekun Itori Ayibamo Iji Ki Awa Jose Joshe Flash of Leopard's Eye can set a roof on fire. Against the unknown, let us do all things together. The unknown is not our enemy. The unknown is our friend. We should be excited about the unknown. And let us go into the unknown together. Obatiti lo ole ale bi osu pa eni pa ini monili ale ashe. Swift chief. Appearing like the evening moon, I have an assassin as a lover. May it be so. Ashe, let's take this energy of these powerful songs to Ori. Ori, key songs for the conscious. Songs for the console, songs for the body. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to rest. I want you to lay back and I want you to open up your mind. I want you to breathe with me. We must bring in breath with the body. And as we are bringing the ashe into our body and bringing an air to our womb intelligence system, we want to blow that belly out like when we were kids. Air in so much we take air from the body. We take air from the body. We want to bring air in. Breathe in and blow that belly out and then hold it. Hold that air and when you push it out, I want you to push out any doubt that you have in your heart. Any doubt that your mind is trying to implant in you. I want you to release it. We're going to say yes. Whatever pops up in your heart, no matter what crazy you say, yes. Yes. Today, anything that feels right to your heart, you're going to say yes. Your mind's going to tell you, don't do that. Don't mess with that person. Don't talk to that person. Don't call that person. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't apply to that job. Don't leave that job. Don't do none of that. But today you're going to say, yes, 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 yes. No matter the question that the heart asks. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm sending it to you right now. Open up your mind. Open up your consciousness. Let me in, let me in, let me in. As you breathe, may you smell what I smell. 
May you smell the roses. May you smell the fire. May you feel the water. Let it in. Let your skin start to tingle a little bit. Let those little goosebumps start to rise. Let those little hair on the back of your neck. That is energy. That's our shade that we all share. Let it in. Let it in. Relax your body and let it in. We're going to do a five, five, five count, bringing in that Ashe energy, that Oshun energy, aligning with our heart. Let's breathe together as I send you and I push you courage. Let's breathe in in a one, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three. Before you release it, you're releasing doubt. Blow it out. Every time you blow out, you release that anxious energy. I bind it and I release it from your shoulder right now. I release it from your heart center. Anxiety is nothing but your higher self pushing you to greatness, but there's time. Tell that anxiety, I'll get to it. We'll get everything done. Don't worry about it. We'll get it done. Just relax. Just relax. Breathe into it. Breathe into it. Breathe in. Bring air into your body, blowing out your diaphragm area in a one, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. Think about the doubt that you need to release and breathe that doubt out. Ashe. We're going to breathe in one more time on that count just to slow down our body. And I want you to get all that doubt out. Let's breathe in a yes on a five count. Say yes in your head as I count. Yes. One. Yes. Two, yes, three, yes, four, yes, five. Hold it. What do you need to say yes to? What do you need to tell your heart that you can do? What do you need to tell your heart that you can be? What do you need to tell your heart that you can execute? Release the breath and the doubt. Ooh, I can feel you now. I can feel your energies. Whether you watching on the replay, I already know you coming. I can already feel you. I already know what you want. I already know you need peace, Ashe. I already know you asking for a little calmness, Ashe. I know you're asking for a little relief. You can have it. Ask your Ori, how can I get the relief I need? How can I get the peace I need? Ask yourself, unlock it in you. If you can't hear, use your imagination. Tell your Ori, I can't hear you. I can't feel you. But I might be able to imagine. And that's when I want you to just close your eyes and relax and let the vision come to you. What am I doubting? What do I need to release? What have other people told me that I can't do that I, I, I feel like I can, I feel like I might. I feel like I, I could. I feel like something is telling me to. Why am I not doing it? Why am I not moving forward on what I want? Why am I not moving forward on what I asked for? Why, why? Cause somebody else said I can't do it. Cause somebody else can't do it. Cause I'm not seeing it. Why am I so attached to time? Why am I so attached to an outcome? I got shit to do. Oh, let me release my doubt. Let me know that I can have what I want. My Ori will show me. Show me through a vision. Show me through a dream. Bring it to me. I need to know. Ask yourself, how can I say yes? What do I need to say yes to today? Bring in your breath.
Ooh, I feel somebody's legs not working. And spirit told you that you can walk again, but 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 you need to man is telling you you can't. I want you to go watch Joe Dispenza. Joe Dispenza rebuilt his whole spinal cord after a devastating injury with quantum physics. Trust me, I ain't gonna need these glasses when I get my stuff together. Trust me, when I'm ready to focus just on that, I will not need these glasses. Your legs can work again. My womb is tingling right now. Somebody's been told they can't have babies, but yes, you can. All you need is a container and a womb. You don't need as much of the body parts as you think. When Egon wants to come through you, Egon will come through you whether you like it or not. That egg will find a way. Don't worry about it. Ask your Ori, what herbs do I need to take? What meditations do I need to do? What do I need to re-strategize so I can bring this child to existence that's calling to me? Believe it. Release old ideas about motherhood. You can have what you want. Ooh, somebody's been given a death sentence, Ashe. Somebody's been told by their doctor that they're going to die. I'm feeling a brain injury or some kind of brain situation, uh, aneurysm on my left side of my head or something, or somebody needs to go get it checked out if you've been having heavy sensations on the left side of your face and head, you are on stroke level, my love. You're on stroke level. I can feel it. I can feel that if you don't calm down, like literally you're going to, you're going to have a literal stroke. I need you to breathe through life, release attachment to outcome. And if this is you, whether you are present now on a replay, I want you just to massage your face, take your hand and touch your face and tell your face in the left side of your body, we are calm. And then you need to seriously change your diet, Ashe. And Spirit's already been talking to you about that. I am getting heavy sensations of paralysis but I'm feeling that this is paralysis of the mind and you're going to release that today. I'm going to sit for two minutes and allow you to either connect with yourself or if you feel like you've gotten what you needed, you have a blessed and wonderful day. You can replay this and do it at any time. If you are still under, I'm going to stop talking so you can have a moment with self to decipher what you are receiving. I'm going to do some cellular rearrangement here for you guys. I'm calling, being called to do that. Just pay me no mind.
thank you so much. I hope that you feel calm. I hope you feel at peace. We went about 15 minutes over, but you have a blessed and wonderful day. Just gonna click a little just to make sure that you're woke and you're up. If you're just joining and this is your meditation time, just go ahead and rewind and start from the beginning. You have a blessed day. Protect your dreams. Protect your beliefs. Protect everything that you are so that you can be everything. And like the card says, say yes. Have an attitude of yes. Have an attitude of yesterday. Be blessed. Ashe, Ashe, and Asheya.